In the attic, we already have got one underfloor radiator in the bathroom and in other rooms we are going to use the typical radiators connected in the manifold layout. So let's close axonometric projection. Let's come back to the ground floor and let's extend the riser to the next floor. So I selected the riser on the ground floor and now let's go to the copying and blocks tab and I will use the tool next story. So as you see the riser was extended at the moment it was just placed on the other floor. Now we need a manifold for that and for that we would use just a simple manifold to connect the radiators. In this case we can use manifold without the valves. I extended it a little bit and now I can connect that to the riser. So I have prepared the manifolds and now let's place the radiators. I can use the same function you already know the automatic placement of radiators under windows. So I will press Ctrl R so you can see the whole story. And now I have to select the windows under which I wish to have radiators placed. So I have to go first to, the, to this tab, which is for the walls, window, doors and so on mode. And now if I press Ctrl A, I selected all these elements, including what's important for me, all the windows. So now I can go to the radiators tab and I will use the first button with the lightning. Now I have to select the class of the radiators, which would be in this case panel radiator VK and create radiators automatically. And as you see, radiators have been placed. Now I have to connect them to the manifolds. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And let's start with this one. Here you have to do it a little bit precisely so it's connected properly. Now let's connect the second one. And the third one and also the fourth one and in the bathroom let's place the bathroom radiator a towel dryer and let's connect it as well to the manifold Here I have to correct it a little bit because it's a bit different than uh, what I wished. It was sometimes when it's uh, when the pipes are too close, so you may need to do some corrections. And now we can have a look at the axonometric projection. This is our system now. It looks like that in the axonometry projection and we can go as well to the diagram. And as you see, the risers were extended, they were created automatically. And as I already told you, in this case, this diagram is a very simple diagram. It's just to connect the plan views. In, you can see in this diagram the elements, only these elements that you cannot see on the 
plan views, but in this approach, our basic drawing is the plan view together with axonometric projection. Mm -hmm.